my name is Chelsea Robson. And I'm Morgan Stradling. And we are the Rotoscopers, and today we're going to be reviewing The Art of Monsters University. Without the dust cover. Why not? <laughs> Obviously, Monsters University is set in college, and it's a prequel, so Mike and Sully are much younger than they are in the first movie. So this book sort of explores these younger versions of the characters and this new world, along with some new friends while we're at it. Yeah. So the structure of Monsters University, it follows basically the main scenes in the movie. So we are introduced to the university, then Greek life, then the scare games, and then the camp at the very end, mm -hmm. which is cool. I really liked it because then we get to see the different characters who are introduced in those respective scenes, which I liked. Yeah, that was nice. There are some really cool different concept art from the very beginning, the the very beginning of Monsters Inc. as and moving on into Monsters University, and it even what's really cool about this one is sometimes even it'll show the dates of when they were done, and that's a lot more than a lot of art books will do. Like as far as you know, it's so very well documented information on all of these different concept art drawings. Yeah, you'll look at one picture and it will say the artist's name, then it will say what medium it was done in, whether it was marker, digital, watercolor, and then it gives you the date. And so this kind of allows you to put it in perspective, like, okay, this movie came out in 2013, this was done way back in 2008, like really early in the process, yeah. and then the picture right next to it says 2011. And so you, it's just cool because it just, you know, allows you to put it in your timeline in your yeah. head and see where everything started falling into place. You know, with Mike and Sully, we already knew these guys, so there's not really much they could do to their characters, but I still think that the pages of the characters are really awesome. For example, this is College Mike, and they show us the progression of Mike from little baby Mike, so cute, all the way to College Mike, and then they kind of give us a little bit more of like, this is Mike in college, which is really nice because, you know, they didn't really have to do much for him because we kind of knew what he was looked like, but, you know, then the next page shows us College Sully, and this is cool, because they had a lot that they could have done. I mean, at one point, he was just a fat slob, you know, who eats pizza all day. He was sort of like a, a jock right here. I mean, he still kind of is a jock, but I liked this because they really, I mean, ultimately, the character kind of looks basically the same as right. we know him, but it still shows that there was a process. There was a thinking phase I of... I thought about it. Yeah. Do we want to do something like, different? Yeah. Like, did he make a full turnaround, or was it just a little bit different? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it ended up being just a little bit different. Yeah, you know. <laughs> But still, they try. <laughs> I also love when they put in these maps. Here, they're actually showing the sprawl of Monsters University, and they're letting us know exactly where things are and how it's all set up, and then they go in a lot of our architecture around there, and I really liked that. I think that those types of things in an art book really draw you in and make you a part of the world mm -hmm. and help you see, oh, this we put a lot of thought into this as well, and it's not just a here's the movie, it's a welcome to the world mm -hmm. of Monsters University. Yeah. One thing that I did think was a little disappointing is usually art books go above and beyond the information that you get in the bonus features of mm -hmm. the Blu-ray or the DVD. So you're able to explore the, the making of the movie that much more because you have 150 pages of just this. <laughs> but they didn't really do that in this art book. For example, in the DVD, they talk about how, you know, they wanted to create this monster architecture, so claws and teeth and eyeballs are really, they're everywhere in Monsters mm -hmm. University. And then as I was reading the book, I was kind of looking for them to p call this out in the architecture section, and they didn't. I'm just like, ah, oh, but that was like a really cool thing you were talking about yeah. that you just kind of glossed over in the book. So the type of art that is in this book is sort of like Puss in Boots. Yeah. Where it was a lot of digital paintings, full, you know, everything, all out with the characters, with the backgrounds. Um, there were just a lot of these full frame pictures, you know, mm -hmm. maybe two on a page. You know, as you're flipping through this, there's just a lot of painting. I think a lot more so than other books, um, which is up to you if you like that style. I really liked it in Puss in Boots. I think I worked a little bit more in Puss in Boots than in this book. I think so too. Um, I don't know if it's just because, I don't know, this is another world. It's a it's... monster world, but that was like a pirate world. And I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's different about it, but Context. I did like... I don't know. Oh. <laughs> But I did like this book. I thought it was interesting, especially if you love Pixar, if you love Monsters University, then this is going to be a must buy for you. For us, we gave it four stars. Definitely it, worth it. it. I mean, if you if that's something you want. Mm -hmm. It was a good read, but I think after I read it, I, I was done and satisfied. Mm -hmm. But for the Pixar lover who's obsessed with deconstructing everything that the company puts out, this is a must buy for you. For sure. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot more stuff coming your way. Also, make sure to head on over to our website for more news and reviews from the animation world. Also to meet more fans just like you. We've got a huge, amazing group of people over there that really put their whole heart and soul into writing awesome articles. And then the commenting on there is so much fun to start and to talk about different things and meet more people too. Mm -hmm. So head on over there. It's rotoscopers.com. You can also click this link right here. Ooh. Until next time, my name is Chelsea Robson. And I'm Morgan Stradley. And you are watching the, the Rotoscopers, Rotoscopers YouTube.